How's that for a clap sync? Let's go. What's up everybody? Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. I just fully destroyed a Red Bull, so I have lots of energy. Today we're talking about transitions, kind of like this. Let's see if I can teach it in a reasonable amount of time. So what I like most about this transition is that it's not a super involved transition. It's, it's not like this very long convoluted in and out of clips and rotations and keyframes and a lot of things that are just hard to do and you gotta film those ahead of time. This is just an alternative to a hard cut. Instead of having a timeline or a project where the cuts just happen all the time, if you wanna add a little more style to the edit, a little more polish, something like this glitch static transition is what we're calling it, would be a great alternative because it just makes that transition from one clip to the next clip cooler a little more stylized. Now we saw a big request to teach this effect because we used it a lot in a video that we did called The Secret Meaning to My Tattoos. And it is so easy to do. We'll throw two minutes on the clock and hammer through this thing right now. All right, so taking a look at a few of these clips from the film. So you can see a lot of that was speed ramping, like speed duration changes, and kind of just using that flicker, that transition that's mostly like a glitch or a film burn, film grain, those types of things in order to transition between clip and clip with those speed duration changes. That's what just kind of gives you that nice flavor. Open up Premiere. You have all your clips on the timeline, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight or so clips. Pick one of the ones you wanna speed up, right click, speed duration, and change it to 400%. We want to jack the speed of this thing way up, effectively four times faster. And go ahead and do that for all of the clips. All right, so go ahead and grab that PM Film Scratch sample. Now you should have downloaded it already. If you haven't, pause. We've included a link below. We made one free for you to try out and practice with this project. And if you wanna use it for anything else, go for it. It's low res, but I do have an entire pack of 4K film scratches and transitions coming soon to my shop, so stay tuned for that. But for this video, you can click the link below and just download this sample for free. Once you've got that in your project bin, double click on it, and then you're gonna see what it looks like. You can scrub through with your playhead and find the best point you want to start your transition. So I'm gonna start mine right here, make an in and an out point, and then I'm gonna drag it on top of the clips that I want. I can extend it a little bit. I'm gonna scale it up to 200% and change the blending mode to screen. So now all those glitch transitions are happening over top of our clips. How are we for time? Probably, is it gone? If you want more scratches, more kind of grunge, just find a different in and out point from that scratch clip there and just stack it on top at a different spot. That way it's just gonna have more stuff happening. That's how you would basically amplify that effect. Don't forget to scale that one as well. Go through the rest of your project, find the spots where you want to place the rest of the effects over top of the different transitions. Like I said, instead of a hard cut, pad those with these clips on top of your timeline. Don't overkill. This particular tattoo video was perfect for that style. So I was able to just kind of keep stacking them and putting them everywhere and changing that speed duration because it just suited the project. But if you're just using one or two, use them tastefully. Too much is just going to be like, stop, please stop. Trust me, I've, I've been there. <laughs> I put the mountains and deserts. Now, once you've got all of your clips in place, all of your scratches and glitches, you need to link sounds to those scratches and glitches so they sound and feel like scratches and glitches. Without the audio, it's not nearly as good. So find some sound effects like this, or like this, or like this and then take those and link them at the same parts as your scratch sample. Then when you play them all together with your speed ramps, it should look like this. So nothing convoluted. We're not doing anything other than just placing clips on a timeline. That's it. I just thought I would hit you guys with something fun and fast that is easy to do at all skill levels. So if you didn't check out that clip below, if you liked those, stay tuned for the entire 4K pack that we've been working on for, I want, has it been a few months we've been working on? It's coming. I'll let you know when it comes along with some other surprises, presets, other things that, hmm. I've said too much. Hit the like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into 2021 style. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Old school. The logo was there, so I, I had to move it here. But it's mesh. <laughs> Ah!
All right, so, I'm sorry. Do you not like that reflection? Gone. 